Hello everyone, this is Omar back with another video. So today's video is all about keyword research, the strategies that I use, how do I finalize the keywords, how do I group them and so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's get started with it. So first things first, uh, we all know that uh, we all know this strategy, like finding the seed keywords, putting that seed keyword into Ahrefs uh, Keywords Explorer, and then apply some filters and you have got some keywords, right? So the point is how you're gonna find those uh, seed keywords. So I have uh, some strategies and uh, these are my top three that I use to find uh, those seed words in, in your niche. So uh, first is really simple and manual as well. So you will uh, just, Google your uh, niche or the main topic in your niche and head over to the images tab. So you will see these little bubbles here, like public speaking is highly, sorry, uh, anxiety is highly related to public speaking. So you can say that these are the highly relevant entities related to your niche. And these are the seed keywords as, uh, as well for your uh, for, for, for that particular topic. So anxiety, fear, confidence, uh, nervous, communication, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, if you want to do it in an automated way, there is a tool called entityexplorer.com. So you can just put your main keyword here oh. <clears throat> and just hit enter. Yeah, so you can see here, all of those uh, bubbles are now appearing here as well. So this is just a quick way to find those entities in your niche. So you are, uh, you are just gonna uh, input this main uh, topic in the Keywords Explorer and in, in the include filter in href, you will just enter these keywords that are relevant to your niche, right? So if you just don't know uh, much about that niche, just uh, study it uh, or watch some YouTube videos about it and you will get to know what are those terms that are discussed in, in uh, that particular topic, right? So, this is the first strategy to find those uh, seed keywords. And uh, this is a really good way to find uh, the related entities as well. And moving further is the strategy number two, that is uh, using Pinterest. Uh, I use Pinterest mainly for keyword research, but uh, you know, uh, since the intent or the audience on Pinterest is really different, so it's not applicable to every single uh, topic out there. But yeah, it is what it is, right? So, uh, you know, you, you will start with the search bar. Once you enter the keywords in the search bar, you will see the autocomplete, uh, just like we see in uh, Google search results. So similar, uh, same is the case here. Uh, you enter the keyword in the search bar, it will, uh, you know, suggest you some keywords that are popular on Pinterest. So this can be your, uh, you know, uh, main categories as well on the website. Right. I'm developing a tool, by the way, uh, that will help you to find those cat categories in an instant, uh, but we will discuss it uh, later in the video. So uh, once you hit enter, uh, after, you know, checking out those auto suggest keywords, you will see bubbles here, uh, just like uh, in uh, the Google search results. So these are different from uh, Google search results. These are not same since uh, these uh, bubbles are according to Pinterest and those were according to Google search results, uh, right? Uh, both have uh, different databases and, uh, you know, different algorithms. So just click on uh, one of those bubbles and uh, you will head over to uh, that specific category and you can find the subcategories of that category here. Just like uh, I clicked on food photography and you can see here, I have uh, the subtopics inside uh, the food photography, just like meal, cuisine, baked goods, ideas, Chinese, uh, you know, these are all related to food photography, right? So uh, from here, I start analyzing the uh, pins uh, themselves. Uh, what people are actually targeting in those pins. And it's a bit of, uh, you can say, a manual method, but it's worth it uh, when it comes to finding uh, the keywords for your website, right? I haven't seen anyone discussing about it, but I have found really good keywords uh, in uh, a lot of different niches that have a Pinterest audience. So we are mainly finding uh, those pins that are linking to 
the uh, external website right uh, just like we have use your noodles.eu here so i searched that keyword in google and you can see here after a bit of uh, tweaking this keyword i have found a, a keyword called s curve food photography so if you are running a, a photography blog and you can see here and specifically if you are into food photography uh, business uh, you may not be able to find this keyword uh, right away from href or anything like that i tried it and i haven't found it right so uh, and the second thing is you can uh, also use uh, pinterest trends we uh, we use google trends to find the keywords uh, but pinterest trends is really useful tool as well so this uh, this website just showcases what users are currently interested in what i said currently interested in since uh, this is trends tool right so uh, you can apply those filters i normally use uh, these filters based on my target audience for that niche uh, just like interest uh, and the age uh, age bracket of of my target audience and the gender right so it will just uh, you know spit out a lot of uh, the trends or the uh, keywords uh, in in that uh, particular uh, topic right so uh, this, uh, i discussed it uh, earlier in my video that pinterest users behave differently from typical web users right uh, pinterest is kind of a social media platform they are not actively searching for it but uh, you can just use this strategy to get some ideas about uh, your niche i just don't want to go into typical uh, you know keyword research ideas uh, using ahrefs and all that you all know that right uh, you are doing seo and uh, you know how to use filters in href so yeah that's it and the third strategy is a really good one uh, i can't remember where i found it i think uh, it was from the founder of uh, sheetsformarketers.com i can't remember his name so uh, he shared uh, this strategy on twitter and i used it for my own websites found really really good keywords uh, using this wikipedia method, uh, method so the first point is uh, you just need to find a wikipedia page about your niche uh, just google it like niche wiki right and you will find it uh, on google just like i found it for uh, public speaking and you may uh, want to know <laughs> like why wikipedia why do we want to uh, uh, find and find a wikipedia page for our uh, niche right so wikipedia ranks for a lot of relevant keywords and uh, entities uh, in in that niche uh, just don't uh, mix entities with keywords they are entirely different i will create another video about it and uh, you know post it on my social media as well so the point is uh, the wikipedia page itself ranks for a lot of relevant keywords and you can find entities from there as well and the second step is run that wikipedia page through href and give you the keywords it ranks for right so just look for the terms that could be expanded into standalone articles uh, you are ideally searching for the keywords with clear intent uh, so you can directly answer that query uh, in in your articles right so uh, in, in our example it's a personal injury lawyer and you can see that these are the keywords for which this page ranks for right and uh, google itself uh, reference uh, wikipedia in in his citations uh, oh sorry in its citations so uh, if you don't have access to href don't uh, no problem at all you can still extract valuable insights using keywords everywhere add on and you just uh, you know uh, search this query site column and the uh, wikipedia url of of that page uh, and just click on uh, total keywords and it will spit out a lot of uh, keywords for which uh, the url ranks for right and the uh, third step is uh, just copy that wikipedia url right and go to missing topics this was a a uh, free tool uh, but now it's uh, paid uh, you you may buy it it's really really good at finding entities uh, that are related to the particular topic that we searched uh -huh. just a minute so it's missing topic topics.com ah uh, i think they have uh, recently changed uh, their 
uh, website interface. By the way, I used it uh, last week and it was working. Uh, so, by the way, I I'm going to tell you uh, a, a free way to do that as well. So, uh, this is a free tool by Google uh, called Natural Language Processing. And you, you just need to copy this, uh, the content from this page, just like this one till the end and just paste it here now hit analyze i'm not a robot <clears throat> all right so we have the entity tab here and you can see all the way down the entity is related to uh, that article that i copied from there so it's um where well <laughs> oh so it was public speaking art, uh, article i was searching for the uh person in jail uh, lawyer uh, kind of keywords so yeah you can analyze uh, these entities and just uh, you know uh, copy those that are uh, relevant to your topic right so next up uh, we have uh, the step number four just copy these uh, these terms into a separate google sheet and just clean them up if if it contains numbers or anything like that uh, use them as seed keywords in ahrefs uh, what you're gonna do uh, after copying those keywords put them uh, in keywords explorer in ahrefs select questions terms met and set a minimum volume i try to maintain a volume of 20 uh, and you know more than that so so that you can find the question type of keywords in in that niche so just review those keywords and add them into your uh, cluster right so very quickly you have got a list of informational terms to go after uh, you know this is not going to be the most comprehensive cluster but you got the idea uh, to find uh, those uh, seed keywords, right? I will post the right link to this tool uh, in the comment section after checking it out. Uh, so, last, uh, lastly, we have the uh, we have my own <laughs> uh, topical map tool. Uh, you just need to enter. Right now, it's in the process. Let me just add uh, our main topic here: public speaking and hit generate topical map it's not complete yet i'm working on it and there are a lot of improvements to be made so once it's complete uh, you will get all of the questions type keywords all of the commercial keywords uh, and everything else in uh, in your niche that are uh, low hanging topics uh, for for that particular topics so i hope it works <laughs> <clears throat> all right so we have uh, the uh, main category and the uh, subtopics or subcategories uh, for our main topic like basics of public speaking uh, speech preparation delivery techniques uh, types of public speaking and uh, challenges in public speaking and so on and so forth right so uh, anytime you enter uh, uh, enter the main topic here it will generate uh, another set of categories uh, here right so in, in later version of this tool i'm gonna you know enhance it using uh, you know scrapping the google results for for that particular queries uh, what competitors are targeting and what set of keywords uh, they are targeting right so i will make it uh, live and let you know guys uh, once it's complete so I have almost 14 plus strategies that I use to find keywords for uh, my niche websites and clients, uh, including competitors, reverse engineering, not in all fashion way, uh, using GSE data and even refining your existing content. So let me know if you would like me to create separate videos for each one of them. And I will create a keyword search series uh, to, you know, uh, walk through all of those uh, strategies. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, that's it. Bye bye.